Limp Biscuit. Mm-hmm. I'm rolling. Why are we calling you Limp Biscuit. <laughs> yeah. Or, pr- or Proud Mary. Proud Mary. Mm. I don't know that one. I know Four Star Mary. That, that was know? the band that was in Buffy. You don't Proud know Proud Mary, Mary? Rolling Down the River. Yeah. Rolling. Oh. Rolling, rolling down the river. Oh no, I know that song. I, I, yeah. I, 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 like, I like my music, but I don't really know who makes music sometimes. Like Fleetwood Mac is a good example because none of their songs sound the same, mm. like especially Rumours. So uh, when I realised that all these songs were Fleetwood Mac, I was like, oh, I, I just thought they were all completely different people. <laughs> yeah, which is, which, which is crazy considering that, as you say, particularly with Rumours, like mm. that's such a diverse album. It's incredible. Mm. I it's like, that album. I um I when I first listened to that album I, I found it surprising that A, as you say, they were all by the same artist and B that they were on the uh, the same um the same album. And so oh, as Stu is very crap. as Stuart well we I mean we can line it up, it's fine. <laughs> you can you can work backwards from the clap, right? I, yeah. I, I I can but finding it when it's like buried it can we just do a clap? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After three. One, two, three. Oh, that was a terrible okay. one. Um, Clap for me was at 1 minute 27 seconds uh, for Future Stew. So Future Stew, right. when you hear this, you'll know where to find the clap. I oh, see, mine's <laughs> in between one twenty-two and one twenty-three. Very nice. I'm not helping because I wasn't looking. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, yeah, what, what, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, Fle- music. Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood the music, Mac. yeah. Interesting um, bands. Mm. I have to say though, Pr- Proud Mary is not the band. Proud Mary is the name of the song. Oh, okay. Yeah. Of by Limp Bizkit. It's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We were talking about Limp Bizkit earlier. <laughs> we were, but I mean that would be a hell of a crossover. Yeah, who did Proud Mary then? Fred, Fred, Fred Durst. If you're listening, I want to hear a Limp Bizkit cover of um, uh, of Proud Mary. That'd be great. Uh, I want to say it was Aretha Franklin. Oh, okay. Originally, <laughs> completely different genre. Hmm. But it's been uh, it's been copied so many so many times mm. um, by various different people. Uh, if you want to go with band names, though, you can say you can call me a stone because I'm rolling. Ah, very nice, very nice. Uh-huh. Ah, it was actually Tina Turner was the first first artist rest in peace rest in peace indeed very very sad recently yeah yeah that happened a little while ago now I guess mm. yeah I was it's surprising her, on uh, that day there was lots of Tina Turner playing around which is nice nice no it's surprising how many songs um, you hear that you think are by one person but actually it was a cover by someone else so mm. like The Great Pretender People think Freddie Mercury, mm. but it was actually covered by Roy Orbison. So some, I don't know, uppity people say, "Ha ha! I know that it was actually a cover from Roy Orbison's song." What they don't say is that actually Roy Orbison did it as a cover of somebody else's. Song. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I think I think the best example of this is um, House of the Rising Sun. Like, I'm pretty sure nobody knows who actually wrote that song because it's because it's been covered and covered and covered and covered and covered. To me, it's the animals. <clears throat> See, yeah, I, I'd say, say it's the animals, but I'm yeah. pretty sure they covered it from, from, from someone as well. Yeah, that, that's who I think done it, but I don't know. Mm. Mm. If, yeah. if anybody is listening who, who does know definitively who, uh, who first sang um, House of the Rising Sun, do, uh, do, do get in touch. Be curious to know. It's the first song I ever learnt on the guitar. Was it really? Nice. Mm. I had it. That's it was the right first song on my little keyboard piano thing when I was a kid. Yeah, I had like, some pre-programmed songs you could play along to. Uh, well, I think spe- it's the animals. 1964. Yeah. Yeah, the animals is the one that I know. Oh, the, old, mm, the oldest known recording under the title Rising Sun Blues is by Appalachian artists... Clarence, Tom Ashley, and Gwen Foster, who recorded oh. it in 1933. Very interesting. Oh, so it's even older. Mm-hmm. Has apparently has roots in a traditional English folk song. Speaking of things that have roots in a traditional English folk song, welcome back, listeners, to Tales from the Twenty Side. 
<laughs> that didn't work, but I don't care. I've got to find a second edition Let's Play podcast. My name is Dom, and I'm your GM for this game and many others. And I'm joined by Stu. Hello. I'm joined by Amy. Ahoy, hoy. And I'm joined by Asta. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. We, 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 we almost got so engrossed in the conversation there, we forgot what we were here to do. <laughs> Never forget what we're here to do. Della's here to stab some people and drink some tea. I'm not sure if, if that was you censoring yourself or just your internet cutting cutting out there. Uh, that was the internet. Cause ah. That was perfectly That's timed. It was, it was perfect. I mean, the listeners won't, won't hear that because the, the listeners will hear exactly what you said yeah. through Audacity. But for us, <laughs> that, that was incredible. <laughs> it, wow. it, it, it was like... It was like, Della's here to stab some mother, and then you went silent. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't say anything. I said she's just here to stab some people and drink some tea. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> Completely so actually, different to what you thought. cutting out made it much worse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she's out of tea. Mm, she's all out of tea. <laughs> go, go. Uh, so yeah, um, a quick apologies uh, to everybody, everybody, everybody listening. I did this, I said this to the guys a second ago. Uh, apologies for, for my coughing fit at the, at the end, end of last episode, which I'm sure Stu has probably taken out of the episode. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, we, don't know what you're talking about, we don't know what you're talking about. You've been like perfectly healthy all past month, like completely well, fine. If uh, you don't know what I'm talking about, I guess I'm the only one who here who looks stupid. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, regardless, regardless, folks, I, I am not very well right now. I'm getting over the back end of something not very nice. Um, uh, but we are going to have some adventures today, and we're going to get through it just fine. Yeah, we got some big adventures to do today. You have. Mm. You have. What, what, what kind of stuff's on your agenda, Amy? So, well, we, we spent the last, I don't know how long, wandering around this forest beating up these fey creatures just to get this task done has it been a couple would, of days it feels like, like we, weeks months even yeah. <laughs> I, t- I, I tell you what just on just on just on that on, on that topic uh, mm. i can actually very quickly tell you uh when you first came into this forest oh lovely um, Anybody have any have any guesses um given, given that we are now on episode 163 um what episodes do people think uh, you entered the forest of white, uh, this forest. One four three. One four three. Okay. In advance on one four three. Yeah, I'm gonna say about thirty episodes. Yeah, I think so. One, one three three. One three five. One three five for Asta and for Stu. Got one three three. One three three. Oh, even even further back. Okay. I can tell you, folks, uh, the episode. Um, that we first entered this forest was in fact episode 139 on Ooh. January 14th. <laughs> you, you, so. 143, 135. Is that equal? Yeah. All pretty, you, you, you're all pretty damn close there. Yeah. yeah. Pretty bad. damn close. Not bad. Right. So, yeah, we've been. And the whole reason we're in this forest, right, is because Baba Yaga's hut's here. And we couldn't get into that because the evil blonde woman who killed my friends, colleagues... Um, acquaintances. Acquaintances. People you met at the pub. People I met at the pub. <laughs> we, we were in it for a pound and they didn't survive. Um, anyway, uh, Najana? Najana, yes. Najana. And uh, anyway, so she's in a bubble by the hut. And we couldn't get into the hut, so we've met Ravafiel, and he sent us on a quest to go deal with his siblings, which we've done. And then we've gone back to Ravafiel, and he's he's actually kept his side of the bargain, as far as we know. We haven't checked, like we don't know we yet, haven't we haven't got, got there. We don't know what we're going to find when we get there, because I'd rather have been there. Wouldn't, do... wouldn't, wouldn't that be a plot twist, if, if, yeah. uh, if you get there, and actually, actually, <laughs> actually... The, actually the, there, there's no heart. I, I, th- I, I think you, you. I think you guys, as, as players, might leap through the screen and murder me. <laughs> I can just. I, I feel like he would like you know be doing like a mafasa and floating in the clouds, just like flipping in my. Uh, <laughs> so <I'm> like, <laughs> anyway, but yes. Yeah, so he he did allegedly hold up his side of the bargain, and uh, when he passed, he dropped his magical flute, which Della currently has, 
and uh, we're running on our way to Baba Yaga's hut to hopefully finish off this quest thing that you've been working towards for so long. I believe Della has all three of them. I was just thinking, does someone want anything? <laughs> yeah, like, I, well, no one wanted the cloak, and was it was it only I could use the javelin? Did we? No. Or is someone else can use that? I think I, I think pass that to someone. Uh, the javelin, uh, the, the javelin can be used by by uh, by uh, anyone. It, it basically, it's it's um, it emulates cast, casting the spell like like like, okay. like but you don't have to be a caster to use it. But you're uh, absolutely absolutely right, Amy. Um, all of the loot has somehow found its way to Wardella because what a everyone surprise. else was like, <laughs> every, every, um, everybody, every, every, everybody else was like, who wants the loot? And Dada's like, I'll take the loot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're gonna ask, I'm gonna say yeah, sure. I, but I, I'm I'll gonna trust you the javelin. With the cloak. <laughs> yeah. No, Alwyn was looking at the cloak and talking about it with Raiden and not doing the same mistake he made with the ring and just putting it on. And then Della came along, whipped it out of his hands and put it on. I asked you if you wanted it and you said no. He didn't ask. After you'd put it on. I guess on. that's recorded. After you put it on. Yeah, but like yeah. I just put it on because you were like, and it looked like a cool cloak. Went with my hat. But I mean, would you like this javelin? No, no. Because I, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to be the person that hogs all the loot. <laughs> like you can have things, but I like the cloak, <laughs> and I guess I should keep the flute because I'm, I'm the one that plays the flute. <laughs> you still, I mean, you didn't. Um. Okay. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you want the cloak? You can have the cloak. No, we don't know what the cloak does yet. Okay. Well, if you don't... See, if I keep trying to give you the things and you're like, no, and then you have a go at me that I have all the things, so I can't win. If it helps, I believe I was able to tell us that it potentially gave some kind of water breathing. Water but breathing? It's got a question mark next to it. Della jumps into a river. <laughs> <laughs> is there a river that Della can jump in? Because she will uh, legitly do that. There is not. You have seen, oh. uh, other than the water in which you um, uh, you battled Orianos, you've not seen any pools of water in this forest. Can I borrow your tankard, Alwyn? <laughs> it's not that big. I'm only little. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just need to put like my breathing apparatus in it to see if it works, right? Just... Wait. Anyone got a bowl? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got a thing to do, and we need to start running. Yeah, I, I'm assuming that we're running as we're, we're having this conversation. <laughs> yeah, we need to be running, yeah. legging it. Do you, do you want this javelin though? Like, would it be no. useful for you? No. Keep hold of. Okay. Keep hold of it. She can cast lightning bolt at the Jaina. Okay. Off we go. Run in. Run into the hut. Uh, running to the hut, um, obviously with uh, with Ravathiel's words ringing in, ringing in your ears, the last of his uh, essence making it inside the um, uh, the flute that Della, Della is now holding. I don't like that phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> it's killed. I've killed Stu. I've killed Stu. <laughs> Stu very much likes the phrasing, and it is staying in. That's recording. <laughs> it stays in. I'm just, I'm just showing my disapproval. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, you begin um, rushing back towards where you found the uh, the dancing hut. Um, are there any preparations you wish to make as you're as you're running? Anything you wish to do? Yes. Say? Um, as we are mm. running, could I attempt to recall? Potentially any information I may have picked up over my time previously um, as to Najena's skill set. Obviously, sure. a spellcaster, but a bit further into that, what sort of spellcaster? Sure thing. Um, what is your society modifier, Bryden? Uh It is a plus twelve. Plus Ooh. twelve. Um, and what what law skills do you have? Um, I have. Where are they? Uh, I have Haglor and Library Law. Haglor and Library. Okay, neither of those are going to be particularly relevant here. It, uh, so your, your society was plus 12, yes? yes? Okay. Is Library Law knowledge of books or just knowledge of libraries? <laughs> Intimate knowledge of the duodecimal system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm really curious. <laughs> That's it. it. It could be both. It could be both. Okay. All right, R- R- Ryden. So, so, so thinking back to what you might have heard about about Nijena, um, you know, obviously, as I pre- previously mentioned, um, she's quite quite a high ranking member of the of the Jadwiga, um, the r- ruling class within uh, within White Throne and indeed the whole of Irison. Um, she, uh, as you, as you've also noted, she she's a particularly power powerful spellcaster. Um, Powerful enough to to the point of where she is, um, she, she 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 is a member of Queen Elvana's inner circle. She she's one of her her, her advisors, um, perhaps not her closest advisor or her most powerful, but c- certainly she's she's up there. She's this is a powerful and in- influential figure. Um, what you recall about Najena is, um. She seems to almost have an obsession with beauty. Um, you know, she she herself presents as a very beautiful individual. Um, you know that she is known to conduct herself with grace and elegance at all times. Um, some of the magics that she is known to use um, basically enable her to embody those ideals um sort of to um magics that allow her to move quickly um or um appear different or that or that or, or, or that kind of thing you, you will also know from from your your society role um despite how much beauty um Najena projects either through her own appearance or through that of her spell casting you know that it is it is skin deep at most um as an individual as a person uh she is a very twisted very cruel um very uncaring person and she she will have she has no qualms about 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 you about using magic to uh inflict pain or outright destroy her enemies uh did you get what what you wanted from that Asta? Uh, yes thank you Uh, I, I I will also say with the um, with the role you had, uh, I'm happy to give you one piece of information, um, but basically one one one, one combat um, thing about her. Um, can you remind me what that um, involves? Um, I remember doing this once before, and there was a bit of a list. There was a bit. Is it like uh, strengths and weaknesses or something? I actually can't recall exactly what what the list was. Um, ba- basically, um, I, w- I won't tell you anything with a number like a spell DC, an AC, that that kind of thing. Um, but I, I I will tell you one of her her abilities. I will tell you um, perhaps a spell that she is known um, to have as like one of her her signature spells. I will tell you um, what her favoured method of attack is when she's not casting spells. Um, or I will tell you how she compares to you in your in your cho- choice of stat. Um, I think I'll go for her method of um, attacking when not spell casting. Me- her method, her method, her her, her favoured method of attacking when not spell casting. Uh, she wields a sickle um, known as Ember Chill. Um, which is a a a it's it's a magical sickle, um, the blade of which seems to seems to have been magically formed from from from, from ice. Um, she, when attacking with that, she 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 prefers to get in. Basically, she 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 attacks almost as as a skirmisher would. Um, she likes to close, make quick, um, precise strikes, and then. Um, and then slip, then slip away before she she can she can be struck struck in return. Practiced on that. Uh, as we're running, I will. It's 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 almost like this entire forest has been building you up to this encounter, maybe. Mm. <laughs> yeah. As we're running, I will make all that knowledge known to Della and Alwyn and Chardonnay. Mm. <laughs> she can also kill you super quickly. I know that. 
That tracks. Yeah, Del- oh yes, you, you, you've you encountered it before, Della. What, what can you tell us about it? Uh, thank you, Bryden, that's really useful. Um, it was all very snowy and she didn't need to be close to my friends to kill them. Other than that, though, it was all it was all very quick before I got sucked through the pool. So I don't I don't recall seeing any weaknesses. She seemed unbeatable at the time, but we know better now. Powerful spellcast like Raiden mm, can just make people vanish. <laughs> oh, I would say she's definitely uh, probably stronger than I am. I'm still learning. What? Mm. Well, I'm in the wrong job. If you can make me fast again, that'd be really useful. That was that was very good. I certainly will be able to. Mm. Thank you. Right. So, with that uh, information shared, uh, you c- you continue um, your. Uh, your your journey through through the forest towards the um uh, the dan- uh, the dancing hut <clears throat> um, as as you're moving through 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 the forest there is definitely something different about it uh, now that Ravathiel has done whatever Rav- whatever R- Ravathiel was doing um, you ha- you notice as you're kind of rushing through these tu- these t- tunnels of trees um, the uh, the colours of everything, everything, thing around you—the um, leaves, the, uh, the snow, the sky, the ground—it all seems to be just a little bit, bit more, more vibrant than it was a um, short time, time before. And you now notice something that you hadn't noticed previously because it, 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 it had been so subtle uh, that you that you had ba- barely noticed it. But you notice that the the air, um, as you're mo- moving, moving through, through 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 the forest, uh, is now is now still. Um, in comparison to um, when you first en- uh, and you realise that kind of as you first en- enter the forest, the air itself was almost fizzing and hissing. It had this kind of kind of tingly se- se- sensation that was dancing across your skin, and it w- it-, it was so subtle that y- you hadn't noticed it until it- until it was no no longer there. Um, whether that's as, as a result of something R- R- Ravathiel's done, you don't know. But you progress through the tunnel, um, leaving Ravathiel's clearing far, far, far behind you. And within a short period, period of time, you find yourself ra- yourselves rounding a corner uh, into the clearing where the dancing hut stands. And just as a reminder, um, I'll read the box text once more for your own uh, for your own benefit. I can find it. I closed the document because I'm really smart. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, you can you can see that as 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 you rush into this clearing, uh, you can see there is a two-story wooden hut uh, dominating the clearing ahead of you. Uh, the hut itself uh, stands on enormous chicken legs that restlessly restlessly scratch at the, uh, scratch at, at the ground. Um, but they are bound in place by a gigantic manacle of, of, of iron, uh, which is attached to a huge chain bolted to a spike in the earth. Um, around the hut itself, you can see that there is an, an osseous fence uh, made of bone, um, and you can see that there are two corpses uh, impaled on the sharpened bone pickets, uh, one clad in white, one clad in red. Is it two or four chicken legs? Uh, it's two legs. Two. And do they go underneath the house or up the side of the house? They go underneath the house. L- literally, imagine this hut is it, it is a chicken, except the chicken's body has been replaced with a house. Cool. Like, it, it, it has a beak and everything. Ah, cool. It's great. Cool, yeah. You, you can see around these... The, these two two corpses on on the bone pickets you can see a few ravens uh, hopping and fluttering um sort of, sort of just, just picking up little bits of flesh here, here here and there the biggest difference from when you were last here is that the last time you you, you were here there was a swirling bubble of magic uh, that um that encased the hut itself that bubble has now has now dissipated vanished 
Um, in fact, you can just about see um, there's a tiny flicker of sort of blue, blue and purple magic at kind of at where the top of the bubble bubble would have been, and you notice it is the last of that magic kind of melting away in, 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 into the air. Mm. As you notice that, you look around for Najena, and you do not immediately see her. And then you hear, you hear a voice calling to you from somewhere up above you. Well, I must say, part of me wasn't sure that you were even going to bother coming back. Nevertheless, I suppose I should thank you for getting me out of that wretched prison. But we both know what you've cost me already. And as she said, as you look up, you see floating thirty feet feet in in the air. Uh, you see the form of Najena. Uh, she appears different to what she appeared when she was in in the bubble itself. Um, you can see that uh, her her sort of furs of blue, of blue and silver have been encrusted with what looks to be um, an icy carapace that kind of spreads across across her entire body. Uh, down her arms uh, and kind of up past past her, her her neck as well, and she looks down at you um, with a flourish. She brandishes um, this uh, this shaft of ice between her fingers that Raiden has previously seen, um, and uh, the sickle at her waist that you know to be called Ember Chill is pulled free from 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 its binding, and um, she looks down. She looks down. She looks down. At, at you all and she says well I have a promise to keep don't I roll initiative <laughs> woo she's gonna get what's coming to her natural one for a total of 12 Della <laughs> <laughs> uh, gets a 26 very hang on and I got a 28 Where do you get your dice from? Uh, that one that I just rolled was from uh, Beholder Gaze, I think. Beholder Gaze. I think I think we've uh, given them a shout out before. <coughs> They've turned out pretty pretty good. <coughs> they, they certainly have been very lucky dice. <laughs> I need some new ones, I think. Using path builder, Ooh. it's not as fun. It, it, it's not as fun though, Stu. It's, I mean, no, but it's convenient. I'm, I'm yeah, a dice grimmer. I... <clears throat> uh, oh, they've yep. got some cool ones. Make the shiny math box go click clack. Mm. <laughs> 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 you see, Stuart's. Stuart? Why did I say Stuart? I never call you Stuart. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Why did I say that? Like part part Sorry. of me doesn't part of me doesn't even believe that 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 that's Stu's full full name. I think no. it's just Stu at this point. No. <laughs> Apologise. Stu is who I am these days. <laughs> the last ten years I've been Stu. Stuart is who I am. Oh, ah. imagine that I saw the word art somewhere on my screen and <laughs> it caused me to muddle my words up because that's probably uh, why. You happened. know, it, it, it happened. People call me Stuart. It's not a. No, don't worry. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've been called far worse as well, Stu. I don't know. Stuart was an absolute twat, so, you know. Fair enough. Stuart's a much nicer player. Fair enough. Right, okay, so uh, initiative, what have we got? Uh, Alwyn? 12. 12 for Alwyn. Uh, Ryden? Uh, 28. 28 for Ryden. And Della? 26. 26. Ooh, good rolls from two thirds of the party there. <laughs> yeah, well, the natural one, but I'm getting it out of the way. Yeah, yeah. That, that is a good time to get it out of the way. <laughs> you, At least you hope you're getting it out of the way. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so I can tell you. Uh, act, acting first with a thirty-seven is Najena Vazilyovna. Oh, jeez. 
and uh, she looks down. She looks down, uh, down uh, at all of you, and uh, she said, uh, for, "Yeah." So for, from her her position in in the sky, um, she looks down. She looks down down at you. Um, she lifts a hand above her face. You watch as uh, she she shimmers for a second and seems seems to blur, and you see she uh, she begins. Uh, she begins moving much more smoothly and quickly than, than she had done um, a, mo- a moment ago, and then uh, for her third, th- as she casts a spell on herself, and then for a th- her third action, uh, she looks down at what is the range on this? Ah, she looks down at um, Alwyn. Um, sort of as as she finishes wa- washing this hand across her face, uh, she lifts her hand hand to the sky. Uh, you see s- snowflakes accumulate on on her fingers, and um, she kind of twists them elegantly and elegantly in the air and uh, points her 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 shaft of ice in Alwyn's direction. Alwyn, I'd like to make a reflex save, please. Yay. Total of 18. Uh, 18, I can tell you, is a failure there, Alwyn. Um, as she as uh, as she flicks this um, uh, snowfall frost towards you, uh, you feel freezing sleet and heavy snow snowfall um, gather around your feet and legs. Uh tell you in addition to the damage you're about to take Owen uh, you uh, uh, you have a, a five foot circumstance penalty to your speed okay no ring damage though <laughs> uh, no. I've never done this before but as a reaction could I attempt recognize spell uh, yep one second Okay, uh, so Alwyn, you take 14 points of cold damage. There you go. Uh, but but as, as, as Amy says, no, no ring damage this time, which is nice. Uh, okay, Ryden, so recognize spell. Uh, do you have the full description of that there? Uh, I do. Um, when a creature within line of sight casts a spell that you don't have prepared or in your spell repertoire... Uh, Oh, that's the trigger, sorry. Uh, If you're trained in the appropriate skill for the spell's tradition and it's a common spell of second level or lower... I am not understanding this. I'm going to copy-paste it to you if that's all right. (laughs) I pulled it up. That's fine. That is very confusing. (laughs) That's fine. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Welcome to Pathfinder Aster. This is where the rules rules minutiae all all come up. Uh, What what is your proficiency in in Arcana? Uh, My Arcana is a... Expert level with a plus 14. Plus 14 total, okay. Now let's see if you get it. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so as, as as you're looking at this, um, Raiden, uh, you recognise this spell as being a clinging ice. Uh, it's not a widely used, widely used spell. It's certainly not one that's um, kind of generally taught in many ma- many magic schools you know that this this spell is granted um is granted to witches uh, via via their patrons thank you very much uh, but yeah yeah the spell uh, the spell is called Cling- clinging ice uh, and i will tell you that 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 is um one of her cantrips amazing hmm. uh, so, uh, uh, I'm assuming that's what you wanted to cast that to use that on, not the first spell she cast. Uh, no, that that one. Sure, sure, sure. There we go. Uh, but that will end her turn as she hovers uh, thirty feet in the air. Uh, after that, it's round to Raiden. Uh, I will retaliate with a concealed electric arc. So I'm using my concealing spell to hide what I'm doing, and then uh, flinging an electric arc at her. 
Uh, it is a reflex save. A uh, reflex save. I'm getting some good rolls so far. That is a 37 on the reflex save. Oh, that's, that's a success. Yeah, so even even though you uh, you you take some efforts to to disguise the spell card casting ride and, um, to Della and Alwyn's eyes, um, this lightning just crackles out almost almost from from nowhere. Um, Najena, with some manner of preternatural instinct, um, just flits to, flits to one side as the lightning streaks off into the sky. Okay, that is me. That's you done. Um, it's Della's turn. Della draws the lightning javelin and goes lightning javelin goes burr. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know magic and uh, no, 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 kind of but not a lot. Yeah. What, draw... what am I doing? Is that just a, a normal? Uh, so if you do, do do you wish do you wish to use use the javelin of lightning? Yes. You do. Okay. So the javelin of lightning has a command phrase. Does anybody remember, remember what it is? I wrote this down, but I don't have my book to hand. <laughs> I wrote it down. Right. Hang on. Right the I'll make some noise while I find it. I feel like it was uh, that really sultry thing she kept saying of ride the lightning with me. Ride the lightning. That's exactly it. I was whispering it, but I realised you can probably cut me out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have to stage whisper when we're doing this, Stu. So ride the lightning. Yeah, I totally didn't write that. <laughs> ride the lightning is what I say. So you hold the lightning. Um, and as as you hold the javelin up, up Della, uh, you speak this command phrase. You watch as the javelin itself transforms into a crackling bolt of lightning uh, that streaks towards um, uh, Nishena. Um Asta, have you got lightning bolt up? Uh, it's a reflex save, right? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. 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 Okay be the DC? Uh, that is a great question. Mm. Look. Uh, reflex of 25, according to the item. Okay. Uh, I... I rolled... I rolled a natural one on that saving throw. <laughs> she, ha- she has a bonus of plus 18 for a total of 19, which would ordinarily be a regular failure. Mm-hmm. The natural one turns it into a critical failure. Della, can you roll 5d12 for me? <clears throat> does, does this, does this, can this like crit card... It's not a crit card, but um, uh. she she is. I tell you, she this is going to be doubled with whatever you roll. Okay, oh, this is nasty. So five twelves, yeah. Five d twelve, yes. All right. After this one by one, five, one, six, seven, thirteen, eighteen, five, and another five, twenty three. 23 uh, and double to 46. Mm-hmm. Boom. Damn. That is an opening move. I am the storm. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you you sort of p- p- perhaps not expecting you uh, to be capable of reaching her so so effectively from, from, from the ground. You see... Najena kind kind of twists away from the, from the from the first crackle of, of Raiden's electricity, looks down at you all with a sneer, um, and then just eats a lightning bolt <laughs> straight in the face as she turns back back. Yes. Um, yeah, that's a nasty, nasty hit. Um, for my friends. And uh, yeah, you watch as as you finish using using that using using that spell that. Della, uh, there's a crackle as the javelin returns to javelin form and it clatters to the ground um uh that um see see, now seemingly inert um you will you will recall that that item can be be used again however it it, it has to be recharged um by somebody who knows lightning bolt first Mm -hmm. 
it has to be done at fourth level as well. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, you, with a with a nasty crackling blast, you do that. So one action to draw the javelin, two actions to cast the spell, and that's going to end Della's turn. It's going to be Alwyn. How far up in the air is she? Uh, she is thirty feet in the air. Uh, can I get to kind of almost underneath her with one move? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, I would like to do that. I'd like to raise the shield for my second action. And with my third, um, I want to... Uh, how do I say it? Ba- basically antagonise her to to kind of annoy like en- enrage or annoy her to the point that he brings her down to attack him okay um, that's the intention sh- so he's going to start by calling her an ugly cat <laughs> okay mm-hmm. I'll t- I- I- I tell you what Alan what Raiden has said I'll tell you what let's make it a uh, let's make it a um, let's make that an intimidation roll Alan as you attempt to okay. taunt her Not brilliant my intimidation but we'll see what we can do uh, it's only an 11 and eleven, as you call, as you call, as you call, call this up, um, she looks down, down at you, Alwyn, and having just ca- kind of uh, eaten this lightning, it's it's still kind of crackling across her body. You can see there's there, there, there's kind of soot marks across her face, and she and she she looks down at you, and with a sneer, she says, "Pathetic." Is that your yes. turn? No, you are. But what am I? <laughs> That's that's our win's go. That's our win's turn. Okay. In that case, we are back around to Najena. Uh, the first thing she'll do is she will sustain that spell on Alwyn. Uh, so the ice continues to cling to your feet. Um, next up, uh, she will... Uh, f- Yeah, she points. She points in your direction. At, in your, your your direction, Alwyn, and you watch as a uh, a bead of frost begin begins to, begins to form on the tip of one of her, one of her fingers, and she points in your direction once more um, as a uh, what Ryden would recognise as a ray of frost uh, comes streaking in Alwyn's direction. Right, two things. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I forgot about this one uh, on the last round. But I have a feat Witch Warden. Probably wouldn't have made any difference last time. Okay. But I get I get uh, as a an, an ethnicity thing uh, plus one circumstance bonus to saving throws against curses and to throws against spells cast by a witch or ag. Is it just saving throws? Uh, saving throws uh, against curses and to saving throws against spells cast by a witch or. Ag. Okay, so it, do, it doesn't affect attack rolls against you, it's just saving throws. Uh, no, that wouldn't affect attack roll. Um, uh, yeah, my other thing probably wouldn't be affected. Sure. And um, is that is that a reaction to do that, or is it just a thing that happens? Uh, no, that's a thing that happens. I do have a reaction as well, but that's also for saving throws. Sure, okay. Uh, in that case, um, uh, that... Yeah, she she looks down this ray of frost streaks in your direction Alwyn um, with a 30 to hit uh, 30 is a hit uh, can I use shield block on ray of frost uh, does shield block say it has to be a weapon attack or just an attack uh, I need to look it up uh, so there we go You would take damage from a physical attack. You can't use it against magic. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, 30 is a hit. It's not a critical hit. It's a hit. Okay, uh, that is 12 points of cold damage, Arwen, as the ray slams into you. Okay. And then with her last action... See, she's she's moving. Uh, she's moving uh, preternat- pre- preternat- preternaturally quick, 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 quickly at this point. 
Uh, not too different from how Alwyn was moving when he was under the effects of the haste spell. Um, uh, she actually flies. Um, she flies on a diagonal, um, kind of to- towards the southwest, uh, just kind of moving away from you, Alwyn. Um, Maint- and, and she she maintains her altitude in the sky. Uh, it's Raiden's turn. Uh, I am going to uh, follow up with what Della did, and I'm going to throw a lightning bolt at her. At, All at right, Jaina, another lightning not Della. bolt. Feel I should specify. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought we were lightning bolt buddies now because we can both do the can same thing. One. <laughs> we can bond over it. <laughs> not at all evil. Yeah, there She's can not be. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just rearranging my map a bit because reasons. There we go. Sense. Okay. Uh, so a, a, another lightning bolt from Raiden. Reflex save from uh, Jaina. Fucking hell, these saves. Uh, that is 20 on the song of save. Uh, she takes Failure. 36 lightning damage from me. 36 lightning, okay. All right. Yeah, as as you release another course of lightning across her, uh, co- coughing and spluttering, uh, she she looks over at you, Ryden, and um, she she cocks her head cu- cu- head cu- 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 curiously in your direction. Hmm. Seems I'm going to have to start taking you seriously. Why do you look so familiar? I have one of those faces. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Ryden's got an action left. Uh, nope, I'm just going to leave it there. That is me. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, end of Ryden's turn. We're round to Della. Okay. How close is she if I was to get underneath her? If you wanted to get underneath her, she mm-hmm. is 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 45 feet to get directly beneath her. And how many actions would I need to set up and set off the signal skyrocket? <laughs> uh, oh, um, it's an it's a single action, single action to draw it, single action to use it. Okay. Um, mm, Della is going to move thirty feet into her direction for just yes. one action. Um. And then she's going to give the gang a big pep talk on how we're going to defeat this evil, evil, ugly cow, as Alwyn put it. (laughs) Make a diplomacy roll. Make a diplomacy roll. (coughs) That is a 24. There we go. And you're expert at diplomacy? I am. Roll 2d8 and add 10 to it, please. 2d8. 8. One. So nine. Nineteen. Uh, Nineteen. Uh, Alwyn and uh, Ryden each gain 19 temporary hit points. Do I get them as well? I Did think we... I said I think I said yeah. yes last time. Yeah, we'll go with yes. Why not? Yeah, I believe my own words. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> see. Uh, um, I'll, I'll guess if I've got, I've got one action left, haven't I? Is, is courage your words just one, isn't it? Uh, two. Courage of words is one action. One action. So one remaining. Um, mm, 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 mm. I'm going to draw my plus one. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to sit there uh, being cunning. Not sit, standing in a ready stance. Yeah. Della just sit, sits down, takes out teapot, starts yeah. having a little tea party. I said I was going to have tea. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, end of Della's turn, we're round to Alwyn. Okay. Uh, uh, Alwyn will stow his sword, draw his longbow, 
and then raise his shield. That's how we them, by the sound of it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, end of Alan, we're back round to Najena. Um, sort of still steaming slightly from the last li- li- lightning bolt that she took. Um, she looks at the three of you having set up in, in this position. And she looks down and she says, oh, very, very well, I suppose I should... I, I, sh- I, I suppose I should stop toying with you. Um, you watch as uh, Della, she flies over your head. Um, she flies over your head in a, kind of a downward direction, uh, kind of streaking toward streaking to- toward the ground, um, basically equidistant uh, between between all of you. Um, she lands with a slam and uh, a wave of frost uh, blasts out over everybody. Uh, I need reflex saving throws from everyone, please. Right, as my reaction, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'd like to uh, cast Divine Grace. Divine Grace, is that a focus spell or...? Uh, no, it's a, it's a class feat. Uh-huh. Uh, before making a save against a spell, uh, I caught upon my deity's grace, gaining a plus two circumstance bonus. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, 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 that applies. That's as well as because <coughs> circumstance bonuses can stack. Can't no, they can't. So, so cir- circumstance is a, is a type of bonus. Um, uh, bonuses of the same type do not stack. You take the highest one. Oh right, okay, okay. Uh, that will overrule. Yeah. Which one? I mean, obviously, you if you had another type of type of bonus like like an item bonus or that kind of thing, it would stack with that. But two circumstance yeah. bonuses don't don't stack. Okay. For a dirty twenty, which brings it to twenty-two. Twenty-two for Alwyn. Della got twenty-three. Twenty-three for Della. Uh, Thirty-two. Thirty-two for Raiden. Uh, Raiden is the only person who succeeds on this save. Ouchies. Ouchies, indeed. Slot. I put it into. Oh, I just put it in the basic one. Okay. Stop counting. Okay, as as Najayana slams into the ground and this wave of um, frost washes across all across all of you. Um, uh, Alwyn and Raiden, uh, sorry, Alwyn and Della, you take 26 points of cold damage. Mm. And uh, Raiden, you take 13 point, points of cold damage. Um, more, more importantly, you notice as as this kind of wa- wave of cold washes out from, from Najena, um, you see the surface of the ground has now become slick with, slick with, with, with ice. Um, mechanically, it's all now difficult, difficult terrain, um, and uh, basically, if you're doing anything other than moving in one direction, uh, there is a chance that you might fall over mm-hmm. when you when, when you move. And you notice as 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 she slams in into the ground, uh, Alwyn, the frost that had gathered around your feet uh, breaks away into nothing. You are no longer restricted on the speed. Um, and then, lastly, you watch as Najena. Um, having now landed on the ground and dispersed this burst of frost, um, gliding gracefully across the ice that that, that she that she created, uh, she 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 glides towards you, Raiden, uh, with that uh, that sickle flashing in your direction. Uh, but she does not have enough actions to bring it to bear this turn. It's Raiden's turn. Um, I am going to, as she is uh, sliding towards me, uh, I'm going to cast Telekinetic Maneuver to attempt to trip her. Uh, So it is an attack roll instead of an athletics check. Alright, make a spell attack. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. That's a... That is a dirty 30. 
a dirty 30, and uh, you're what, what are you attempting Trip to do over. to her? Trip her over. You do indeed. So as, as she's <laughs> gliding towards you, uh, Ryan, you see her coming, coming towards you. You focus your mind on the... Uh, on her feet, um, you cause a section a section of the ice just to crack slight, slightly, and uh, her foot strikes it and she tumbles to the ground. Oh, how clumsy of you. <coughs> Can I just give her a smile and that'll be me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's Della's turn. All right. Well, what Della would like to do is slide across the ice on her knees and draw her plus one rapier and stab... Um, Jaina if she can with 30 feet of movement so 30 feet it's currently difficult to rain uh, 5, 10 fi- uh, so you can't quite get to her uh, okay. she's, ten, she's 10 feet away but she, she is in a straight line which is which is a blessing 10 feet okay in that case then I will uh, do one move to get 30 to get in within 10 feet yes and then uh, I will pull a knife from my neck and yeah. throw it at her. Throw that dagger, Robbie Tack. Yeah. Oh, that's actually not bad. That's a 33. 33 will hit. Yeah. Oh. Um, is she flat for... <laughs> Does make attack count for a throne? Yeah, um, I don't think you get it on the throne attack, sadly, but she is flat footed for sure. Okay. Uh, so it's five. Five, Please. very nice. Dagger Thanks. stabs into her and then vanishes. Yeah, that is it. It's a D four plus my strength. Yeah. Uh, that's correct. Yes, for a yeah. throwing weapon. Cool. That's my turn. All right. Uh, end of Della's turn. We're round to Al- Alwyn. Okay. Now that she's come down to the ground and seeing Della rush up towards her, uh, how? F- Far away is she from Alwyn? Uh, she is. Uh, she's five feet feet from Alwyn. Oh right. Okay. Um, Alwyn will. Can I get to where Della would be in a flanking position in a straight? Line? Uh, in a straight line, no. You'd have to change change direction. Okay. I'm just going to move up to her. Uh, as best I can. Yep, easily enough. You 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 sort of slide unsteadily forward. Uh, I'll drop the longbow for a free action. Mm-hmm. Uh, with a sigh, I'll draw the plus one striking rapier, and I'll try and strike her with it. Roll the attack. Come on, big numbers. Thirty-one. Thirty-one's a hit. A total of eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. Very nice. Uh, importantly, Alwyn, as uh, um, uh, as uh, as you dive in and strike her with the sword, uh, some of this frosty armor that's kind of covering her skin, this this elegant um, armor of ice over her body, um, as you strike her, um, it kind of basically blasts back back towards you. As you take uh, three points of cold damage. There's a bloody ring all over again. <laughs> okay. Right. Anything else for Alwyn? Uh, just a free action uh, to call out. You ain't got no alibi, you ugly. You ugly. <laughs> Excellent. <clears throat> Excellent. Uh, end of your turn we're back round to Najena and indeed Alwyn as you say this uh, she kind of um, haughtily uh, huffs <laughs> we'll see who's ugly when I'm finished with you darling don't worry um, her... Her f- from the ground uh, you see she kind of um, she 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 digs her hand into into the ice, um, and you feel the air ar- the, the air around you um, begin to build uh, with with pressure, and then and then forces itself away from, away from her. Uh, I need a fortitude save from Alwyn and from Ryden. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not going to use the reaction this time. I am going to use my hero point. <laughs> okay. Twenty-eight with my plus one, it brings it to twenty-nine. Twenty-nine, okay. And from Raiden, twenty-eight. So you both succeed against this effect. You feel this air pressure building around you. Um, you feel it attempting to push you away from Najena, um, but you 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 set your feet, you raise an arm, you and you stand resilient as this this wind washes over you. Um, <clears throat> So you, you succeeded on that save, so you are not pushed. Uh, however, <coughs> um, uh, uh, you take you will take a minus two penalty to any checks or to all rolls made uh, during reactions this turn. And with that done, uh, Najina will get to her feet, which will, will provoke attack of opportunity if you want it. I'll take that, please, yes. And with a minus two, as just mentioned. Yeah. Uh, so that is 19 on the die for 34, brings it down to 32. It's a hit. Uh, have 11 points of damage. 11 points. Uh, you receive 9 cold in return, Owen. Oh, ouch. Uh, and with that, uh, you watch uh, kind of in in one motion, um, rising, rising, ri- rising from from the ground uh Najena swings toward Raiden with the um uh with this sickle and that is going to be a 31 oh, to hit it Raiden it is not critical okay that's good please be to mage Palmer. good 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Raiden, oh, very, that's a nasty dice roll as well. Um, t- 24 points of slashing and cold damage, Raiden, as this, as this sickle carves across you. And again, um, this very elegant movement as, as Najema draw, draws, the bla- draws the blade across you. Kind of, she uses the, the momentum from that strike. Uh, she, she lifts off, she lifts off, the, off the ground. Um, she's only, she's only about five feet in the, in, in the air at this point. Um, but she's uh, she is in the air once more. End of her turn. It, we're round to Raiden. Uh, <coughs> I will. Yeah, I'm going to cast haste on Alwyn. Yeah. Okay. You cast haste on Alwyn. That's going to be me. Right and done, okay. Uh, Della Thornbury. Now, you said she's five foot up in the air, so does that mean that I can get underneath her? Uh, yes, you can. All right, with one action, Della gets underneath Najena. With her second action, she gets the signal skyrocket out of her bag that she's <laughs> been carrying all this time, and she sets it underneath Najena to set it up. Excellent. Skyrocket Whee! up the bar. <laughs> uh, I <believe> what <laughs> I'm excited. What okay. is this going to do? <laughs> I've got. I. I don't know what this is going to do. Um, let's figure this out. Um, <laughs> it's like a firework. It's basically a firework. Let's make it a reflex save. Yeah. What's your class DC, Della? So my class DC is 22. 22, okay. Uh, damn, these reflex saves. That's 21 on her reflex save. That's a yes. failure. Could you roll 2d8 for me, please, please, Della? 2d8. That's a 10. Seven. Five. Twelve. 12, okay. Uh, yeah, there is a, a loud bang and a flash of light as you momentarily see the image of, of a rose appear around Najena. As she, as, uh, and you also see she gets sort of singed and burned by this explosion as this happens. <coughs> um, 
yeah, okay. A rose uh, by any other name. There we go. There we go. All right, that uh, that will end that action. Alwyn Templeton. <laughs> uh. So, Alwyn will first action call for Chardonnay. Mm-hmm. Now he's got four actions. Uh, Chardonnay's movement is 35 feet. Yep. Uh, I mean, can Chardonnay get there in one turn? Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. Oh, she's five foot in the air, though. Um, so I'm guessing Chardonnay can't reach her. Stand on the signal. S- signal rocket. That's it. That's it. Um, I, I mean, Chardonnay can make a basically can, can leap in the air like she, she she's not fully out, out out of range yet okay fantastic because you so, think five, five foot is less than the average height of a person pretty sure a wolf can leap that high normally that's true that's true um, yeah so if uh, Chardonnay can make an attack with his jaws on the second Ooh. action yep natural 20 for 31 natural 20 for 31 Let's get a quick half shot, mate. Yeah, good boy. Okay, uh, so would you like for Shardnay's quick card? It's piercing damage on the on the bite, right? It is piercing damage. Yes. Uh, would you like deep hurting or pierced? <laughs> we'll go with pierced. Pierced. Okay. Uh, so Pierce, the target is slowed one until the end of its next turn, so she loses an action, which is nice. nice. Hey, good boy. Does she take damage as well? Yes, roll your damage as normal. Okay, uh, I rolled minimum damage, so a total of six. Six that damage. Doesn't... damage. <laughs> no, that's been the ball. Uh, six <laughs> damage. That's unfortunate, but nevertheless, a gash on Najina's leg as uh, uh, Chardonnay... Um, Leaps towards her. Chardonnay does take from that uh, some cold damage. Uh, Chardonnay takes eight points of cold damage as he, as he bites into her. Okay, poor chap. Um, Arwen will strike at her twice with rapier. Okay, roll those attacks. Uh, the first one. Is a total of 32. 32 will hit. And the second one uh, is a total of 19. Uh, 19 will miss. Okay, but the hit does a total of 4 points of damage. 4 points, very nice. I'm good on the damage. Here. How much do I take? Uh, you take uh, 6 points of cold damage, Alan. Okay. Uh, and. Arwen's final action, he will raise his shield again. Uh, oh yes, because you're hasted, that's correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. All right, uh, end of Alwyn's turn. We're back round to Najena. Um, continuing her movement from from, from a moment ago, uh, she's street, sort, sort of looking down with contempt at, at all of you. You can, you can see she's she's looking reasonably, reasonably injured at this point. You've, you know, you've dealt some heavy hits to her within these first few seconds of this battle. Um, Looking down at you all with disgust, uh, she streaks up into the sky and she says, Very well. It's time I stop playing. Um, her moving up into the sky will provoke from Alwyn if you want it. I'll take that. Uh, thank you. Oh, uh, 24. Miss. Misses. As she, 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 she streaks into the air like, a, like, a, like, a, like an icy dart streaking in, into the sky. As she gets up, up, up a good, a good thirty feet, feet above you, um, she brings her her sickle and her wand together in a grand, elaborate motion, sort of, sort of moving, moving them around, moving them, 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 them around each other. Brings them together. You watch as a ball of white and en- of white energy begins to build in the palm of her hand, and she, with a smile, she looks down. Da- she looks down at all of you. Uh, now. Feel the full force of the Lady of Winter, and with, and thrusting her hand towards all of you, um, your vision goes white, and that is where we leave it for tonight. 
Tales from the Twenty Side is a Fiegel Films production in association with Juicy Falls. Music by Alexander Nakarada and editing by Stu Jackson. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Discord by searching Tales from the Twenty Side or by visiting talesfromthe20side.com. Goodness, got a feeling it's going to be time for Della's Buffy blindfold shit. <laughs> I thought that was water. That's oh, that the Buffy blindfold stuff. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I remember. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Mm. Ooh, yeah. It'll be all white. Right. Oh, I got to blow the signal <laughs> skyrocket up our ass, though. Yeah, it did. Yeah. <coughs> that was great. That was great. <laughs> Uh, I'm so glad I kept This that. rose has thought. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're ever bored, do watch Rock of Love, which is the Brett Michaels dating show. It is hilarious. Okay. I, sorry, you mentioned a poison song, so I just had to right. mention it. Every I, rose I, has I, a I, I didn't know he had a dating show. Oh, so it came out in like the mid two thousands, and oh, damn. it's um, the the first episode. Uh, they actually were like drinking three days straight, and it's it's the sort of like early reality telly before it was like what it is now. So it's not necessarily people wanting to get fame; they're actually just wanting to be there, and they're all the sort of people that get drunk and Larry. So it's it's amazing telly. Mm. <laughs> recommend it Fair I enough. really like that show and they did one with Flava from Flava Flav from whatever that is he has a big clock because clock. because of course sorry what a big clock a timepiece clock that he wears <laughs> around his neck fantastic oh, what is he related I can't remember what he's related to now